Hey guys, it's Will Pemmel. I'm going to try two things today. I'm going to try to make a set of wheels for the newest cart, the steel cart that's happening here. And I am also going to try to do it using only my iPhone and iMovie. So this is how that's going to go. I will, uh, we'll see. I'm going to put it up no matter what, but we'll see what happens. Here's kind of the original prototype design. This is a, a top-down view. Um, trying, I'm going with the double wheels, double side wheels, double uh, main wheels. I bought a whole bunch of hardened steel nuts and bolts and bushings for axles. There's some little bits and pieces. This is the, uh, these are just little templates for how we're building top and side views of these things, which are over here, right? And so these are going to be, these little eight things are going to be the four assemblies and then what I'm doing is I've created a little jig for my drill press and now I'm drilling these half inch pieces which is kind of fun. Okay, so now, uh, now what I've got are the outsides. Here's the outsides. I've got four wheel assemblies here. This would be the outside, and then this would be, nope, this would be the inside, and this would be the outside, right? So what will happen is a, um, the, a, a big bolt will go through here on which the thing will pivot, and then You'll have a wheel here and a wheel here, and then down through these two holes, this is down through these two holes will come the side stop wheels. So anyway, that'll be clear in a minute, but I've got um, I've got all my parts and pieces cut and drilled, except for the uh, except for the up stop wheels, which I'll add last as I always do. So that's kind of where we're at. Okay, now. so here what we have are this is kind of the first wheel assembly as it comes together here. We've got all of these all of these little different parts and pieces enough to put together four wheel assemblies really five if you count the uh, really five if you count the prototype that I made the other day and really six if you count the prototype that I made that I really hated so anyway this is this is where we're heading here this uh, there'll be a wheel that goes in here and a wheel that goes in here and then these awesome uh, hardened steel bolts will go down through here all right you guys are just kind of falling through there if I'm doing my things right, right? And then there'll be these these awesome, really flat 55 millimeter diameter, but look at the flatness of the side of that wheel and right. So the pipe uh, the, or the rail goes along that, right? And so this goes uh, actually this way and then this one goes this way. So these guys go through. I'm trying to set this all together with one hand. So that goes through there couple of pipes go, uh, a couple of wheels go through there right and so this is kind of what it's shaping up to be this this thing now I'll get them uh, I'll get them put together and, and let you look at them in just a second so that's that's kind of where we're at right now okay so here we are um, this is one it's not welded together it's just bolted together um, but that's I'm gonna bolt it and weld it so that it's like crazy strong um, so these are the side stop wheels you see how they're nice and flat on the sides and then when you when you put them on a rail let me see if I can get when you put them on the track look at there's just like no way um, there's no way the track is gonna sneak in between these two wheels right here so it's really really secure um, and I think these are not super wide but I think they're plenty wide enough for this one and a quarter inch diameter track but if you just I wish you could feel it um, because it's just so crazy smooth as it goes across and then you look there's a little bit of rust on the on the track and so you can see right here this this little line that goes along the center of the blue wheel that means the side rail the side of the rail is tracking just like dead center of that side stop wheel or those steering wheels and so I'm just crazy happy with uh, with how that works, right? Look at that. And I don't know if you can hear it, but listen. It's just it's just so incredibly smooth, right? It's not bumped into any screws. The bends that uh, my friend John Elliott taught me how to do, the bends are working really well. So I'm like, I'm just 
super happy with this. So I'm gonna keep on, I'm gonna make four of these, I'm gonna weld them up, and uh, hopefully by the end of the weekend, um, hopefully by the end of the weekend, it's about midday Saturday, hopefully, maybe by the end of today, but hopefully by the end of the weekend, I'll have a, uh, I'll have a working bogey, a working skeleton cart that we can test. So stay tuned. This never gets old. Okay, so what I've been doing is piecing these things together and I've got um, I've got three of these guys welded up, three of these wheel assemblies welded up. Um, the axles, again, like we saw up on the roof, these are gonna be the axles and then they go through here and here. The steering wheels go down the sides there, right? These are the, these are how the steering wheels are gonna work. And then I've just kind of tacked them together, welded them together, and I'm gonna, I'll clean that up and uh, make it a lot, a lot, lot prettier than it is right now. Um, but you know, one of my favorite things to do is weld. And I've been trying to think of a way to show you welding. I don't have any, I don't have a cameraman, and so it's just me. And I also just got a new phone and I don't wanna destroy it welding on it, so. Um, but I think I've I think I figured it out. I've got uh, I've got a this piece here that I'm going to weld together here. I've, and this is how I've been doing it. I've I've been assembling um, the wheel assembly, and then I'm welding these two pieces across the top to hold it in place. But what I'm doing is I'm making sure that I'm not welding the thing together, maybe almost square or perfectly square, and then having it not fit. Um, Having, having to force the wheels or something like that because then it rolls crooked. So, so what I'm doing is I'm setting the thing up so that it rolls really well and then I'm welding it together in that way. So it's mostly square, but it's not, it's not perfectly square. All right, so here's what we're gonna try. I'm gonna try to show you some, I'm gonna try to show you some welding. All right, one-handed welding. Do not try this at home or anywhere else. And then another thing you'll notice is uh, right down here, right down here, this is the this is the hardened steel bolt that's going to serve as the axle for the upstop wheels. I'm tacking these into place so that they don't move. Thusly, All right, that's the welding part of the video. Okay, I think the welding shot is as good a place as any to call it a day. It's starting to get dark and I just ran out of welding wire. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of done for the day. Here's where I'm at. This is, this is one is cool so I can touch it, but this is going to be the, this is going to be kind of what the wheel assemblies look like. This one's still, ouch, 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 ouch. That one's still a little hot, but uh, that's what, that's what the top wheels are going to look like, and then the uh, the side wheels will go on like that. Ooh, put them right in front of each other. They would kind of sort of look together. Um, so that's it for the day. I am going to go get some more welding wire and get right back at it in the morning. But that's the update. I hope you've enjoyed the day. See you soon. Bye.